18 months ago, um, a group of local artists put forward a funding bid to an organisation called Creative Civic Change, whose remit was to improve, through art, the environment and well-being of communities. Well, this funding bid was successful. The people uh, were very forthcoming with their ideas and the best designs are what you see here today. The, the interesting thing about the job is it's all community based. So um, each sculpture was actually designed by the, the community, by, by, the, by the village. In my job, you know, I worked commission. So, you know, sometimes people ring up, I want, I want a big totem ball carving. There you go, just give me, a, give me a drawing. Whereas this one was very specific to the community. So each village actually had a say in what, in what they wanted, which, which I found was really important. And also, it, you, you know that the, you know, people respect it, you know, once it's in, because they actually chose the, the design and um, they were part of the whole process. It's nice to actually do um, local work as well, because I'm based in Derbyshire and we live in Worksworth. So uh, I'm a workshops at Christ Tramway Museum, so I'm, I'm not far away. So it's quite nice to actually have local, you know, local sculptures. So it's, um, it's quite nice to give something back, really. I think this funding is important to Blackwell because it gave residents of the parish the opportunity to come together in fun and exciting ways, basically to celebrate the area that they lived in and also to understand the area. There's a few more around Blackwell as well. There's a, there's a miner, there's some other bits involved as well. Tell us about what else you've sculpted. Uh, well, they, they were specifically based on the, the children's design, so it was quite nice. Um, there was one uh, which was quite a difficult one, really, but it was a minor, but the, the child wanted the arm to move up and down as if he was digging, digging the, the coal out of the ground, so that was quite fun. The other one is a, kind of a bird feeding station, which is in the shape of a tree. The third is a miner's lamp. The fourth is a bell. The West Houses Bell, which was really nice actually, because that was a, a child designed that, and all they gave me was a, a bell, a design, just a drawing of a bell with the West Houses School icon on it. And um, to, kick, to get the height, I put it on a block, and uh, the child then drew designs that we actually copied. So the designs on the block, the leaves and the compass and the uh, an interpretation of a family were actually drawn by that by that child and we actually just literally copied the, those images onto the side so it was it was quite interesting really a really nice personal personal thing to do you're stood next to to your design how does that make you feel pretty proud that it's in front of me i only made it on paper so it looked a lot smaller and a lot just like this is 4d and it wasn't that I feel really proud that I've actually made something that's going to stay here for quite a long time. Isaac uh, entered the competition because we wanted to leave something here that will be here for, for the future for people to look at and, uh, and see it on their, their dog walks and their, just their normal walks and bike rides and it's just a lovely thing to be there. If people go to West Houses and they just join then they can come look at basically what it's all about. Like the bell every morning when you came in. It was like quite fun to just hear the bell every morning. But it like made lighten my mood. It means a lot to us as well, um, because it has got our family on it. It's got the, the, the bits that we designed. And it will also remind people of the school because of the bell, the train, the boys love trains as well. Uh, so it is, it is amazing, um, really, really proud. Isaac, I'll leave the last word with you. To go from a drawing to a, as you say, a 4D wood sculpture, can we see some more of these from you? Is this the start of you popping up wood sculptures all over Blackwell? Only the start. <laughs>